Hi all, um, from meeting with um, quite a few companies recently, one of the major concerns discussions uh, was the fact that margins are being reduced, which means you either need to improve processes internally or else bear the impact. Now, Top Solid Wood can help with this in many ways, but today I want to show you just one. So, let's open up Top Solid Wood here and show you how you, we can speed up your drafting processes and communicate with clients more effectively. So this is a 3D model of banquet seating. As you can see, we've got construction and so on, screw construction within this unit. What we're going to do is very quickly create a draft. So what I'm going to pick is every single thing within this drawing and I'm going to select it and I'm going to press OK and confirm. This opens up a draft that automatically brings in all the elevations I want for this drawing and look at this it creates a rendering as well for me. So it does all the hard work for you. So what does it mean? It means that you can create drafting much much quicker but also you can create more realistic renderings quickly and present them to your client all within the one draft page. Also down here on the right hand side we've got our cutting list that has all our fixings as well as all our parts material and sizes all within the one. From here what we can also do of course is assign dimensions. So we can assign a dimension here, we can assign one here, maybe from here to here, you know, as an angle pick from the very front to sorry from the very back to the very front from top to bottom and just bring out maybe the thickness of our board as well from here to here a really interesting feature of top solid wood is the fact that you can actually change sizes here in your 3d model so I'll just show you that once again click on the actual drawing brings up okay what's the thickness of a material not 25 we'll say 16 mils and it's changed everything to 16 and guess what that also changes our 3d model so if we click on this and just type in T thickness it's back to 16 mils we type in 25 once again and it's after modifying it to suit. Now if you want to take a look at the two of them together you can do so. So we'll just zoom in here 25 mils. What other features do we want? We want to create a cross-sectional view. So here in our draft page once again we'll click on observe view and bring it out and that's our 3D view like what I was saying earlier on, let's create our sectional view say horizontal maybe here press OK press OK let's bring it down now our 3D view is in the way so we'll just move this maybe down to here OK perfect now you can see how many ribs and so on we've got there great thing about top solid wood is that it's continuously updating so it means if you make any changes to your drawing here so maybe if we typed in um, n for the number of rails we might say right we need 12 and it's updated our drawing now and our draft pages to include that change right we'll change the angle from what size have we got here? 130, 110. Updated to suit. We'll change maybe the left hand side from 900 to maybe 1100. So it's bigger once again. Even the radius, if we typed in radius here radius is 900 we might say look the radius here needs to be 600 
everything's modified to suit. How quick and easy is that? Now I'm going to come over to my cutting list here and I'm going to bring in maybe an exploded view. So I'll click on this, just make it a bit bigger. So you've got all three views here. So this here can be my exploded view. I can just bring in that view right away. We'll click on this drawing to include it in. And we'll say this exploded view here. Now you can see that that's got a completely different view, but all I have to do is click on that drawing and it's as easy as that to bring it in. And place it in. And there it is. There's my draft pages. How quick is that? And it's detailed.